sorry to tell you this, but your son or your daughter has cancer. Every day, 47 parents are taken to a side room, told to sit down as they hear these words. We are so sorry, but... 47 parents a day, lives are shattered as their greatest nightmare becomes a reality. And one day, my parents became one of those 47, taken to a side room as they heard these words. Your baby has cancer. At two years old, my mother, she noticed a drift in my left eye. Well, that drift, it turned into a diagnosis that changed all of our lives. At two years old, I found myself fighting a battle much bigger than my little body, childhood cancer. Having been diagnosed with retinoblastoma, a rare form of eye cancer. Immediately, my family, we traveled out of state to Will's Eye Hospital, where I underwent six rounds of chemotherapy and over 26 surgeries. My cancer, well, it went away and then it came back and my parents heard the words that their baby had relapsed. You see, life is made up of moments and decisions of both positive and negative outcomes. At now three years old, I should have been starting school, playing with friends and being a normal little girl. But I found myself facing a crossroads with two paths to walk. Do I allow cancer to consume me? Or do I pick up this cross and choose to fully live my life? Well, don't get me wrong. There's times where I was sad, angry, and so upset over my diagnosis. Like, why did this happen to me? But I had to take a step back, pick up my cross, and choose to live, and choose to carry that cross into the unknown. You see, everything has beauty, but not everyone chooses to see the beauty. We all have a story. We all have a cross. We all have that nagging thing in our lives. Well, guess what? Mine is childhood cancer, but yours may be something completely different, but we all have one thing in common, one thing in common. We have the power of our choices. We have the power to decide how we want to walk away from these hardships. We have the power to make goodness and beauty out of our sufferings. And that all comes down to one defining moment. Now, I remember my defining moment. I was in middle school and I was at home sitting at my kitchen countertop deep in thought about my diagnosis. I was sitting there and I was squeezing my eyes shut and I would close my eyes and beg God to be like, why God, why, why, why? And when I open my eyes, please God, let me see again. Give me my vision back. And I would open my eyes and nope, no sight was regained. I sat there hoping against all hope that I, Leah, could be a normal little girl. Little did I know how powerful that moment was. Little did I know what God had in store for me. For that moment, it changed everything. And as sad and as scary as cancer is, I am so thankful for my cancer diagnosis. And I can stand here and say that again one more time because without fighting cancer, without being blind in one eye, without losing my hair and the bullying and everything that came afterwards, without that cross and without that battle, I wouldn't have found my life's mission. Because in the deepest, darkest moments of my life, God spoke and I found my calling. At the age of 18, a senior in high school, I was able to start my own nonprofit known as Leah's Kids. And what does Leah's Kids do? Well, we walk hand in hand with kids that are fighting childhood cancer. So they too can choose the life of hope, to choose to fully live amongst the suffering, to find the beauty in the darkest and scariest times of our lives. But that did not come unless I carried my own cross. Because guys, it all came down to choosing to live and choosing to shine bright for God and choosing to be Leah amongst the suffering. You see, it all comes down to you and it all comes down to me. And maybe guys, that worst thing that ever happens to your life, that scariest, that nightmare, that thing that you are running and hiding in the closet from right now, 
well, that can be the very best thing to ever come into your life. Because for me, it was. Thank you. My name is Leah Hunt. I'm 22 years old and I'm the founder of Leah's Kids.